What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we got a patch in X Defiant with some weapon balancing, including a nerf to the MP7, a couple adjustments to the factions in the game, and a bunch of other fixes and improvements, as well as some information on what we can expect going forward with X Defiant. So in today's video, we're just going to be blasting through all these details, and let's start it off with the patch notes here. The first thing is XP boosters will no longer count down if you're in the practice zone, which is excellent for me. That's something that's really affected me quite a bit because I often do a lot of testing in the practice zone. And when I had a double XP token going, it would just be wasting itself while I was in the practice zone. So I'm glad to see them get on top of that one. Another thing they did here is they increased vertical aim down sight sensitivity for controllers, so aiming up and down is more consistent with aiming left and right. And that's something I noticed in my early testing when I was creating my best settings video, and that's why, unlike most games where I keep vertical and horizontal sensitivity values the same, in X Defiant, I actually dropped my vertical sensitivity value in order to compensate. So now after that update, I'm likely going to be bringing that vertical ADS sensitivity up to match my horizontal sensitivity. But of course, I do have to play around with it a little bit to see how it feels post patch. Next for rank play, we saw a couple adjustments here. The first thing is the match will no longer start with less than eight players. And that's obviously how ranked play should have been from the beginning. They did mention in their recent debrief that went live yesterday that there were various things that they wanted to have ready to go for ranked play and they just weren't ready in time. And I believe this is one of those things. But then on top of that, in ranked mode, they've added CTF with some rule adjustments compared to the public match version of CTF. And they also mentioned many more improvements will be coming to rank play in the future, because even with these changes, I would say ranked is probably still in a pretty rough state. Then for factions, we saw another nerf to Echelon's intel suit. Now it will only reveal enemies through walls for the player using the intel suit, whereas allies will still see enemy locations on the minimap. And that's actually the fix that many of us were suggesting back before they nerfed the intel suit, where they significantly reduced the duration that you can see enemies through walls. So this is a pretty heavy additional nerf on top of that one, and that's really gonna take a lot of the power out of the intel suit. And I really think people are gonna start branching out a whole lot more, and we're gonna see fewer people using this from now on. At this point, I'm curious to see if this is actually gonna be too much of a nerf, and maybe they should dial back the previous nerf at least a little bit. Since only one player is able to see enemies through walls, maybe they should find like a middle ground with that duration. Or maybe not, maybe they should keep this relatively weak so it opens up room for more abilities to have some time in the spotlight. In either case, another adjustment they made here was with these spider bots. A big issue with these that I noticed is they would stun you before they actually attach to your face. So they'd be standing at your feet still, and yet the stun effect would apply, and that was really jarring. This has apparently been fixed with this update, so you shouldn't actually be stunned until that spider bot has attached to your face. Now, let's get into the weapon adjustments, and the first thing here is they fixed the rapid fire barrel and muzzle booster attachments. Some of you guys might have seen my video on this. For some guns, they were causing less recoil rather than more recoil. And it turns out the guns that I tested with, the ACR 6.8 and the AK-47, these are the ones that were bugged and that this was affecting, whereas most of the other guns, it wasn't affecting them at all. But now that should be consistent, and therefore using rapid fire and muzzle booster is definitely more of a trade-off on those guns. Then let's get into the MP7 nerfs. And the first thing they did here is the default magazine capacity went from 35 rounds down to 30 rounds, and then on top of that, they reduced our rate of fire from 875 rounds per minute down to 850 rounds per minute. And that obviously affects our time to kill, so let's have a look at our comparison here. As we can see, with our six shot kill in the maximum damage range against 100 HP enemies, now we're killing 10 milliseconds slower at 353 milliseconds, and compared to the other SMGs, it's still pretty fast, it's still the second fastest out of all of them, but now it's just a little bit closer to the P90's time to kill than it was pre-patch. Then with headshots in the equation, again, you can see we're going to get a slightly slower time to kill, of course, since we have a slightly slower fire rate. And it's the same story against Phantom players. While we're killing the same number of shots to kill, it's a slightly slower fire rate and therefore slightly slower time to kill. And overall, I think these were appropriate nerfs to the MP7. I don't think they took things too far here. That was my concern. I really didn't think the MP7 was like so much better than everything else in the game. It was just kind of the best overall choice. And so I was a little concerned that they would overreact and nerf it into the ground, and they definitely didn't do that with this update. It's just more appropriately balanced, I would say, with the other SMGs. But then after that, with the LVOAC, with certain cosmetic skins, they were using an old iron sight, and that has been fixed. And then we just saw a ton of adjustments to the shotguns, and this is an area where, unfortunately, I haven't been able to do really good testing since we don't have custom games, and the practice zone isn't really the best for testing details on shotguns. 
So unfortunately, we just have to go based on what they say in the patch notes. And based on this, we should be seeing a good handful of buffs to all of the shotguns where they increased all of our range values. And more importantly, the biggest issue with shotguns is the spread. They've reduced most of our spread values, like almost across the board, our spread values have been reduced, including very importantly, when you're sliding in air or mantling, they've reduced that spread by 40%. And I would say those were some of the biggest problems with using the shotguns is you couldn't take full advantage of mobility while using shotguns because it would kill your spread so heavily. Now it should be noticeably better in those areas while still receiving a penalty. It's just that penalty isn't gonna be as brutal as it was pre-patch. So I am really curious to see how the shotguns are faring post-patch with all of these adjustments. Based on what I'm seeing here, we should see a lot more consistency with the shotguns, and I'm just hoping they didn't take this too far. I definitely don't want the shotguns to be too powerful in X Defiant, simply due to the fact that the general time to kill is quite a bit slower than many other games like Call of Duty, for instance, and that makes balancing one-shot kill weapons very difficult. Oftentimes, they're either way too powerful or completely useless, and it's very tough to find that perfect middle ground. But then after that for equipment, sticky grenades will now stay put rather than disappearing if the person that threw it dies before it goes off. And then they fixed a cursor issue shifting to a different display when playing on a second monitor in full screen mode for PC players. And then finally, they fixed an issue preventing players kill death ratio from updating properly after completing matches. So presumably that means our stats are no longer frozen because they have been frozen. I believe since the launch of season one, our stats have remained exactly the same. So I don't know if that's gonna fix it for everything, including your skill rating or just your kill death ratio. But perhaps you guys can let me know down below if you've noticed any changes to that. Like, has your skill rating been able to update now, or is it still locked? And that's pretty much it when it comes to the patch notes. However, we also got a video from the developers going over a bunch of the things that we can expect to see, including a new map that we're gonna be seeing this week, actually, on Friday, we are going to be getting Daytona, which is a linear map, so it's a map where you play like Escort, for instance. And it looks pretty cool. I really like the aesthetic of this one. They shot off several clips on it, and I'm definitely looking forward to hopping in and playing this. And then finally, at the end of that video, they had a quick Q&A session, and I just wanted to go over some of the more important answers with this Q&A. One of those questions was, are they going to be adding new attachments to the game? And the answer was yes, they will continue to add new attachments alongside new weapons, so that's nice to see. Additionally, players asked, are there going to be any updates coming to the anti-cheat? And their answer is, of course, yes, they are always working on that, and they have banned over 12,000 cheaters at this point. And then finally, toward the end of the video, they just restated many of the things that are currently in development, they are working on, and they will be coming in the future at some point to X Defiant, but no dates are given at this stage. And these are Prestige Mode, Weapon Mastery System Upgrades, Keyboard and Mouse Support on Console, Private Matches, and Kill Cams. Importantly, one thing that was really missing here and we still don't have any updates on is when the bomb mode is going to be coming to the game. This is something that they have confirmed to be coming in the coming weeks, so we're expecting it at some point in the near future. And by the way, the bomb mode is essentially like search and destroy from Call of Duty. So it's a one lifestyle mode. But yeah, at this stage, unfortunately, they didn't give us any updates as to when we can expect to see that. But with that, that is going to wrap it up today's video, just covering the patch that took place today, as well as some of the things we can expect going forward in the near future with X Defiance. And this is where I'm curious to hear from you guys in those comments down below. How are you feeling about all of this? Like, first off, how do you guys feel about the MP7 nerf? How are you feeling about the Echelon Intel suit nerf? Or anything else that changed with this update? Just let me know down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.